Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. And we're once again following up on the story of You See Who... And you see why. Now, this is what she has pretty much put herself to be shown as, as of lately. Okay? Now, we know her fall from grace. I still say it came out of that Halloween costume that she thought she saw maybe Satan or Satan's demon dogs or whatever. And that she's been on the downfall ever since. Now, everybody know what I think about it. I don't think she's on this plane of, di of, of, this plane of existence as we are. That's just me. That's my conspiracy theory mind. But we keep having photos of her being shown all over the world. Now, this was the latest photo that was shot regarding Wendy Williams and her goings and comments. Now, I thought she was in a wellness center. I did a video on that, I think, last week. Or might have been, yeah, last week. <coughs> you can go check that out if you want to. And shout out to Gossip of the City. <coughs> I couldn't find any pictures where it didn't have that logo printed on it. So go on over there to their channel and tell them Del Chanel's 48th World sent you over there. But anyway, this is just piss poor as a human being. Why would you take a picture with her? I can see you would want to take a picture of her. But why would you want to take a picture with her at the downfall that she's going down right now? Wendy was going around touching anything that was black as far as the tent of a car she was pulling the handle doors trying to get in now what in the sam hill is going on here it's not halloween this is not a treat or a trick what in the world is going on she looks like a lost soul a wanderer a nomad displaced disheveled i could go on and on and on where is her jewelry jewelry uh, jewelry guy where is he Okay, he's supposed to be promoting her podcast. Is this what the podcast is supposed to be about? When you're walking around all aimlessly and, and, and looking confused and dazed. And she probably smells drunk. Because that's what some drunks do. They wander around. They act like they don't know where they're going or where they're at. And they just be annoying people pretty much. Like a panhandler. And why she's on this person's car? She think it's supposed to be her car uber or whatever to come pick her up because it seemed like she already at the package store meaning the convenience store where you buy alcohol cigarettes vapors candy beer wine sodas chips and all that yep they got her looking like a, a fool running around here i'm telling you looking like a clone the demise of wendy williams fall from grace because she don't look nothing like what she used to look like when she was hosting her own television talk show. She's almost inaudible as far as it comes to communicating with her. Everything is either podcast or, yeah, I'm coming back or literally, hi. You know what I'm saying? And she starts talking in gibberish and you just really don't know where she's trying to reach the point of existence of trying to tell you what she needs from you she's just walking around the street aimlessly and i'm so disappointed i'm so disappointed at her son because if anybody had salt in their being of who they are even if she didn't let me in i would have camped out okay i would have camped out like these paparazzi reporters do they camp out until they see who they want to have a photograph or a conversation with um, a peers on the scene. Then they go and chase them down or walk them down and try to get an interview from them. And I'm trying to figure out why the paparazzi ain't around her. So it has to be something that's coming from way up high. 
They are making a mockery out of her. They are humiliating her. They are dehumanizing her. I don't know if it was something that she didn't want to do for the elite. And she stood fast in it. And stood her ground. And uh, this is what the end result looks like. Or. To me there is no or. It is really, it's nothing really else I can compare it to. Because there's no way in the world you could be up, up, up. And they're securing you and they're protecting you from what they know you have brought yourself to be. <coughs> and they let you go loose. They let just let you loose. And if you wasn't going to work for them, you wasn't going to work for yourself or anybody else. Period. End of discussion. Because it's hot mess. Ain't no way in the world. Because I'm beginning to think, do her son really love her? Or is he more like his dad than her? Because it's, it's no way you can have a heart of gold or just a heart and empathy and empathy for your mom. And you would allow her to go, you know, she might have didn't let you in the time you came to celebrate her birthday with her. But could you not move your schooling to New York? Or was that the only college that would accept you? I'm talking about her son, her only son. Why would you allow your mom to just walk around like this? And if her brother was all of that and really concerned, why are you not camping out? Why are you not trying to uh, catch her at her most vulnerable moment when nobody's around her? And you can go up and try to shield her from pedestrians trying to get a picture of her or trying to get a picture with them, with her in the photo. I mean, it's a shame. It's just total shame. Y'all know where she at. So why don't y'all camp out? You know? It's not like you kidnapping her. If you, you know, tell her you're going to take her to the store, or you're going to take her shopping, whatever she gets in your car, and then it'll be a total, a total, no, a, to, you know, a totally uh, different scene that she's used to. And you can see what's going on. I ain't saying go out there and kidnap her. I'm just saying, just say, you know, you want to go for a ride. And you just ride all day with her just to see what in the world is going on. But I think she has people in position that are acting like normal everyday citizens. And they just allow her to go and act a fool like she's pretty much doing now. Do she know what she's doing? Hell no. A drunk don't know what they're doing half the time. They think they are doing the right thing in what they feel. Oh. At that particular moment. And they aimlessly go around. And you know. Talk to people who they feel is friendly. And like Wendy. She's going around pulling on car doors. Because she's used to getting chauffeur everywhere. She don't have to drive. She don't have to worry about. Uh, <clears throat> the traffic and the comings and goings. on People jumping in front of you. And they taking their way. And trying to get in front of you. Because they feel they got to go somewhere. Uh uh. All that she do is slide in the back. And she looks at her phone or, you know, she's looking at work that she needs to talk about. Or maybe she's calling somebody on her phone. It's just a hot mess. Hot mess. But this is the d downfall. It's where she at. And she's not going to get any better. I wish I could say it. Or that's what I feel in my heart. But that's not what I feel in my heart. And like I said, if you listen to my early com uh, commentary on Wendy, you know how I feel about it. And you know I give you the end result. And this is just more proof that, no. Because even if she is an alcoholic or whatever, your heart gives out after certain periods of time. Because you're only fueling it with dangerous stuff. You could come, how do you call it? Uh, your blood can come toxic when you have overflowed it with a, a certain substance. Because you can die off of drinking too much water. And she's consuming much more alcohol than she needs to consume. You know, it's going to be toxic. Her blood going to become septic. And the end result is six feet under. Or she's going to be put in a mausoleum. I, I don't know. I really don't know. But I know what she's doing. It, it, and the weight is still going down, down, and down. Her heart's going to give out. Anybody's heart will give out with the uh, things that she's subjecting it to. Because we can tell she's drinking, consuming more liquid than she is food. 
But that's all I got from this story. I ain't got no more. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel, both of my channels. And if you somehow find yourself unsubscribed and you know you didn't do it, subscribe on back, okay? Because I like to come in and uh, talk with y'all. And sometimes I like to come in and just do a story and tell me and tell y'all to come in at the end once you finish watching the video in its, in its entirety or you just i don't know you watch half of it and then come back and catch up on the other half Cause sometimes i am long-winded and my videos can last 30 to 40 minutes depending on how much i have to say but it's really too much i can't say anymore than i've already said about this situation okay but as as we get follow-up stories and we're watching her uh go along with Whatever I ain't gonna say living life, but just wondering, run, wondering out there. But like I said, ain't nobody gonna touch Wendy because she got uh, handlers all around her. You know what I'm saying? They this is our podcast. Y'all want to know when podcasts are gonna come alive? This is our podcast. The downfall of Wendy Williams and her comings and goings until the end. That's a podcast. I just gave it to you because you, she's not doing anything else. She's not definitely not speaking on camera, but they have her out there, Minnie Lily, wandering around like a child that's lost. Okay? That's all I got. Got no more. I'll see you on the next video.